the beautiful valley of Swat. It was no ungoverned land, providing safe havens to the terrorists. It was no inaccessible zone where terrorists could flourish unnoticed. Rather, this was the throbbing heart of Pakistan's tourism, whose scenic beauty, peace and tranquility, unpolluted environment and virtuous hospitality attracted tourists from all over the world. It has always been described as the Switzerland of Pakistan for its striking landscapes, lush green mountains, shining waterfalls and serene lakes. State of Swat, founded in 1915 by congregation of locals, was later recognized by British Indian government in 1926. Swat integrated into Pakistan following the partition of 1947. The replacement of traditional judicial system upon merger with Pakistan in 1969 was not accepted by the local populace. The grievance found expression in the non-violent political movement of tehreek e nifaz e shariat e muhammadi of Sufi Muhammad in 1989, which was eventually dismantled by force. جب یہاں ٹی این ایس اور مولانا سپری محمد نے ایک تحریک شروع کی اور وہ بدقسمتی ان دنوں میں وہ تحریک چلتی تھی جب یہاں ہمارے سیاحت کا سیزن شروع ہو جاتا تھا تو ان کی تحریک بھی اس دنوں میں زیادہ پرزور ہو جاتی تھی The menace of terrorism struck this beautiful valley in 2003 The uneventful arrival of Fazlullah later famed as Mullah Radio went unnoticed due to his initial peaceful message later his innovative use of FM broadcast mesmerized the population who perceived his movement as a sincere social reformist struggle. He conveniently converged peaceful message with his evil designs. That is where he started receiving generous donations and recruitment of youth for a religious war. Destruction of satellite receivers, cable networks and TV boosters secured him a media monopoly. The terrorists had uh, virtually captured the entire electronic space of SWAT through their FM. And using terror as a weapon and the caution, the atmosphere of caution was such that everybody in SWAT would tune to that FM. The entire media space was occupied by the terrorists very tactfully. They destroyed the shantinas available in the area. He transformed radio broadcast into a tool for implementation of his writ and paralyzed the socio-political life. Non-adherents were liable to public beheading, lashing and celebrated brutality. Girls were forced into marriages with his aides, who would occupy public and private properties at will, destroyed educational institutions and government infrastructure to capitulate any resistance to his authority. Increasing freedom of movement allowed him use of more conventional tactics, open conflict with law enforcement agencies, establishment of his check posts, and institution of his courts. The entire SWAT became hostage to the terror of Mullah Radio. <laughs> The government's attempts to resolve the situation through peaceful means were also capitalized by the terrorists for furtherance of insular political interests. Birthplace of Buddha and cradle of ancient civilizations, Swat now emerged as a new center of terrorism epidemic threatening Islamabad, which raised an upheaval in the international community. The government, therefore, decided to act decisively and proactively. We were left with no other options 
just to order for the military action. The terrorists started expanding their space. They started moving in Deer. They started their operation. They took their forces in Buner. And they also started knocking on the doors of Shangla. Shaping of correct environment, limited and audacious military operations to eliminate terrorists and redress of exploited grievances of the people of Malakan were focus of the strategy. Most formidable challenge was domination of the media space already occupied by the terrorists. A different version of satellite-based frequency modulated community broadcast was conceived by Inter-Services Public Relations Directorate of the Armed Forces as a solution. The military uh, realized that how damaging uh, this was. So they launched a counter uh, narrative and a media offensive against them. The interactive broadcast with a two-way communication module by the Swati professionals from a safe studio in the capital commenced well before the launch of the military operation in February 2009 as the voice of peace. Our FM played the role of a preparatory maneuver in shaping the environment. It facilitated the military operation by isolating the militant groups there and also turning the public against these military groups. The radio was a very powerful instrument in their hands. This had to be uh, countered. And countering can only be possible if you're able to appropriate channels of communication yourself and broadcast what I call a different narrative. The objective infotainment-based programming soon coined large listenership in entertainment-starved audience. Hundreds of listeners from all over Swat Valley would interact with the broadcasters of Radio Swat. FM 96 से लगाए तो ये थे रेडियो तो उससे हम ये सब सब खबरें मिल सकती थी कर्फ्यू के बारे में. The terrorists too were drawn in talk shows, wherein their ideology was challenged head on by contrasting it with the viewpoint of renowned socio-religious scholars. The terrorist stance was dented quite significantly as hundreds of the terrorists voluntarily surrendered to military forces. In many instances, the uh, terrorists themselves also communicated with us. They also uh, helped us. They also um, admitted their mistakes. The history of warfare is a swinging pendulum between conventional and unconventional strategies. Pakistan Army was well aware that it was embarking on a war in which historically conventional armies have lost more often. The entire army was trained for conventional warfare, but with this huge challenge, which arose as a consequence of uh, you know, the Afghan Jihad and really became a very serious one uh, after 9-11, uh, the Pakistan army had to retrain and refocus uh, on another very aspect of warfare. The use of innocent population as a human shield was therefore to be denied for a high intensity military operation to eliminate terrorists. <laughs> Terrorists' hideouts in thick forests, harsh mountains, and complex built-up areas were accurately targeted by the military. The sporadic leftover population in the area also facilitated military operations. The area was swiftly sanitized in three months by surgical military operations led by valorous officers willingly accepting high casualty rate to avoid collateral damages. There is really no replacement for the lives that are lost. The military personnel, the innocent civilians, the children who can't go to school and the opportunities that will have been foregone. The Park Forge Amiyat Shirukigi Tasutada Khwasteje Ilaka Khalike. Millions moved on one call, leaving their homes and dwellings behind. They trusted one voice, the voice of peace 
that had defeated the hate speech, the call to wisdom that ousted shouts of foolishness, the light of faith that had removed the shadows of doubt. Mm -hmm. This was the voice which eventually triggered dynamic attitude changes and affected ideological isolation and political disarming of the terrorists in Malakand and federally administered tribal areas of Pakistan, thus becoming the linchpin for winning the battle for hearts and minds. During this most crucial phase, when majority of the journalists fled from the area, Radio Swart's field correspondents stood fast with the leftover population. Studios were established upon arrival of IDPs in the camps. This FM uh, radio also bridged the gap between all those who were left in Swat and these IDPs. There were many examples, uh, hundreds of them, where the families got connected to each other through our FM broadcast. Broadcast also assumed the role of relief radio, where field correspondents, besides reporting, would facilitate people in settlement of their community problems in intense operational environments, notwithstanding the threats by the terrorists. The broadcast acted as a bridge of communication for split families, IDPs and their relations inside the valley. The voice of peace thus emerged as the voice of people. Abdurrahman Kukare Malakan Division. FM 96 जो है इन्होंने कभी भी ये सारी इक्वेलिटी के लिए था ना इसमें एक खास ग्रुप को इस पर एक खास ग्रुप का तसल्लुत नहीं था बल्कि ये सारे स्वाति आवाम के लिए एक अमन आश्ती और मोहब्बत का पैगाम लेकर आया था। Government, non-governmental organizations and civil society of Pakistan integrated their efforts in providing relief to the IDPs and their resettlement in native towns. The Valley of Swat smiled again. This did not only strengthen conviction of Swatis against terrorism, but also changed the global perception. Success in Swat, attributed to the solidarity of the nation, enhanced the resilience of the armed forces for complete elimination of terrorism. Waziristan agencies bordering Afghanistan had been exposed to violent ideologies for decades. Terrorists utilized these characteristics to harbor terrorism and export it to the rest of the country, using it as a hub. The SWAT model was replicated. The broadcast of Radio Waziristan was initiated well before the launch of military operation in both Waziristan agencies. We have also replicated uh, the same model in Waziristan and uh, we operated in South Waziristan. The operation was successful. The credibility of broadcast was an uphill task which was achieved through a balanced blend of religion, culture, information and entertainment. The mass of entertainment shifted to cultural and sports activities. Thousands moved from their native towns to the nearby safe areas on an appeal launched by Radio Waziristan. Armed forces again proved their mettle by quick elimination of terrorists in a short span of time. The broadcast was extended to the adjoining areas to reach IDPs. The return of IDPs in South Waziristan Agency had started. Mega developmental projects have been started by the army for quick rehabilitation of the inhabitants in both agencies. Voice of Peace today thrives as an international radio network. DJ Shazia, a 7 p.m. time slot to go head to head with Maulana Fazlullah continues giving hope to the despaired, reviving the traumatized from depression, showing light of faith to those treading uncertain paths, distributing joy to the distressed, promoting self-reliance, and preaching peace to the violent.
We all feel satisfied after winning this battle of hearts and minds.